Hi, uh, I'd like to talk to you t today about uh, the best and worst wedding silver that you can buy. Okay, so wedding silver is quite often bought by the bride's family or the groom's family for the lucky couple. They get either sterling or stainless, or if they're a very lucky couple, both. When I got married 41 years ago, I got in stainless the Michelangelo pattern by Oneida. It's served us very well. We use it every single day. It's a, it's a nice pattern. My nephew just got married, and what pattern does he choose out of the blue? Michelangelo by Oneida. We found that we could get some brand new on eBay for like $125 for a, a, a service for six with servers. That's cheaper than we got it at our wedding, you know, the 41 years ago. So, so for stainless, new stainless, I would say eBay is a pretty good place to get it. I had a um, not quite as good experience with the uh, stainless that I got for my new home in Florida two years ago. We chose a Reed and Barton stainless. It was quite expensive. It, it was um, exactly what we wanted. It, it had a Florida theme to it. It had all different shells on the handles and uh, it was not inexpensive. It was um, over $100 a place setting. Uh, less than a year after we got it, uh, the shells were falling off and the blades were pitted. So, so anyway, I don't know if uh, the stainless steel has deteriorated, uh, but 41 years ago was good and uh, we're still enjoying it. Okay, now, now for the worst wedding silver, there are two. Uh, one is Christoffel silver plate. I love the looks of Christoffel silver plate. They really do a good job with it. But if you're thinking ever of selling it, it's not a good thing. I've had two brides call me uh, with sets they had never used, paid about $17,000 for their sets. I offered $1,500 and they, they got many other offers and mine was the best. Where with Sterling, it's almost unheard of today where a person would get silver for their wedding and turn it back in later and not get more than they, they paid for it. If you were in my time, married in the 1970s, you would get four or five times, four or five hundred percent of what you paid for it in today's market because silver's gone from four dollars an ounce up to 20 and that's carried the um, price of the flatware along with it. Another very poor buy is sterling from a retail store. I think it's terribly overpriced. For example, this Grand Baroque that we sell, we sell it for about $200 a place setting for a four piece. The price in the store, close to 1000 five times more than you can buy it from matching service. Okay, and, uh, some brides say they want new silver. That is not a problem. We're amazed how many sets we're getting in that have never been used. In the last few days, I got a set of this Aegean Weave Gold, service for 14, never used. I got another set yesterday um, English Onslow, beautiful set, service for 24 in the plastic wraps. With English silver, you can date it exactly. It was made in the year 1969, so 40 plus years never used. And again, very small percentage of the new price. Okay, so what patterns do I recommend? Well, the traditional ones are Grand Baroque, Francis the First. Some others, oh, Chantilly, of course, uh, very popular. All of those are around $200 a place setting for a four piece. I told you about the special uh, that we had in the Aegean Weave Gold, about $225 for that. But if I was getting 
uh, silver today, I would want something higher end because those deals are even better. So Acorn by Jensen. It's been popular forever and um, this one is $3.95 for a four piece and in the stores it's like $1,900 so really good buy. One of our most popular patterns today is the Cactus by Jensen. A little more than the Acorn but it's a great look and young people really are buying this pattern. You also can get you know, no longer made patterns that have a really good look. Uh, this one's super popular right now. Uh, this Bamboo by Tiffany. It was made in the 1960s. Uh, we can't keep this in stock. Again, little higher, about $600 a place setting. But you're getting something that's top end, really popular for 40% um, less than you know, normal store silver. Another thing that is an, an option is, you know, some mid-century modern silver. Now this one is called Jubilee by Reed and Barton. It was featured in Jules Stern's book, Modernism in America. It's a really good looking pattern. It's not common, and I think it's got a very bright future. And this one is about $200 a place setting. It's hard to find, but it'd be a really good choice for young marriage because I think it's really going to appreciate in years to come. Thank you.